Austin Mayor Steve Adler insists recent cuts to the Austin police budget will not hurt officers or public safety. The goal here is to get the police officers focusing on the things that we want them focusing on, like crime, and taking away the responsibility to be our, our mental health first responders or our social workers, uh, and getting those assignments uh, to, to, to people that should be doing those. City Council approved the city's budget last week. When it goes into effect on October 1st, $21 million originally slated for the police department will go to other departments and social services. Another $80 million over the course of the year will be used to fund departments currently under the umbrella of police that council wants other agencies to lead. Later, the council wants to use $49 million to create alternative public safety departments by eliminating some police units. Last week, Governor Greg Abbott said those budget cuts paved the way to lawlessness. Tomorrow, he'll join Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin in Fort Worth to announce a proposal related to police funding. Governor Abbott also promised Texas lawmakers will look into police funding during the next legislative session, and it wouldn't be the first time lawmakers stepped in to overrule policies passed by Austin City leaders. Over the years, some examples include overriding the plastic bag ban in 2012. In 2000, 2017 overturning an Austin rule requiring fingerprint background checks for rideshare drivers and a paid sick leave ordinance meant to go into effect in 2019 never did because of a state Supreme Court ruling.